Howdy, Internet. Um, we are here with my little friend, Caesar. Um, <clears throat> going over the, kind of the central idea of this new stuff that folks just do not seem to be getting. Um, if you hear frustration in my voice, that's because there's frustration in my voice. Um, I've spent a lot of time working on this concept. It's I've accepted it. And I'm, I'm seeing people not get the core of it. So I'm doubling down on the core of it. The core idea is that the central focus of the back end throw needs to be focusing the rotation on our spine, centering the rotation on the spine. So uh, my little 36 pound friend here is gonna help me do a demo on that front. So to start, we're just swinging the little dude back and forth in a straight line. Notice my head is not really moving. I'm not exerting myself hard enough that I can't talk. And I can I can do this for a while, right? So from the side, it's here. This is the rotation centered around my spine. This is what high level pros do in their backhand throw. What most of us do is not have a consistent plane like this, but there's this wobble your spine like we want the spine to move like that when the spine moves like this or the hips thrust forward or anything like that it's it's like you're doing a figure eight and it, it's really hard and i can't talk because i have to use my core muscles in a way it's very 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 tiring right like this is not an efficient anything but the second I make the swing plane consistent, like it feels like I'm just building a ground path here into that foot, and then boom, one into that foot, and I'm just switching left, right, left, right, and everything's centered around my center. That's what we want. With the kettlebell, kind of the bell becomes the center. Like your spine is still a center of rotation, but your spine does move a little bit. So you're sharing a center with the object because it's so heavy. That doesn't happen with a disc because it's light enough that it doesn't really matter. So this, the rotation really stays centered in your spine. But in order for that to happen, you have to have a counterweight. So if I try to do that drill here, it doesn't work when I project energy because I'm going to stand up in order to define this axis that I had here with the kettlebell I need to put my leg on that axis now all of a sudden I can stay here and not if I try to throw hard I'm going to pop up like it just has to happen because I don't have any balance. Once I put a balance back there, then I can stay on this plane, right? So that's the core of all the new one leg stuff I've been working on. So super quick version of that. Stand on this foot, turn your toe about 30 degrees back. That'll matter later. Find your balance here. Find your balance, put your weight in your heel lock your knee push your hip back then lift your rear hip up drop your rear hip down that's it just find control and balance there so toe 30 degrees back weight in the heel lock the knee push the glute back find your balance lift the rear hip up find your balance don't do that <laughs> start over lift up Drop back to neutral, drop forward. And it, this is hard, like you see me wobbling and I spent a lot of time on this. Not specifically this part, I need to spend more time with this part. If I stop talking and just do it, I should be able to do it. So just, just do that, just that. If you can't do that, spend more time on it. Once you can do that, you can start getting a little more explosive with it as long as you feel that position where your leg goes 
that way. Weight goes into your heel, your knee locks, and your hip goes that way. That's the feeling you want at the end. The feeling you do not want at the end is this, where your knee bends. Keep that extended this way, like you were trying to pull everything, but your weight's on it so you can't. So just start there, just get the balance. But hopefully I've sold you on the idea that we need the rotation centered on our spine. And that doesn't happen when you take a huge X step and bend over here. Here you cannot throw. You have to crank your spine over and it doesn't work. So we want to be the center of the kettlebell swing with our rear leg defining the axis. Good luck.